Honest is definitely going to stay at one because it's just too good, especially with the agent decks and everything, and also with all the new with like Twilight and everything as well. And of course, once it's sent to the graveyard and you've got another dark in there, it's fuel for Black Luster Soldier. I would love to run Honest in my deck again, but I can't unfortunately. And also with the new Hieroglyph Dragons or Holy Carved Dragons coming out in the next set, um, you know they can't. Honest can be used with that, so, and some people are still trying to find a really good meta build for that deck. So yeah, definitely going to stay at one. Uh, Lemonflower Blossom, I think, will still stay at one. Funnily enough, I've not heard very much about plants, but I've heard there's still a pain in the neck, so I think that will stay at one. Plague Spreader Zombie, I personally feel could possibly go to semi, mainly because I haven't seen very much play of it. But again, it's like um, again, it's like with Honest, you know, it can be used in almost. It be it, well, it, it can be used in a, quite a lot of decks, and if you've got an honest and a plague spreader in the graveyard, again, it's set up for Black Vos Soldier. Sangan. Now, this is a very interesting one. A lot of people have been calling for this card to get banned, mainly because it can combo so well with the tour guide and the tour bus. It can search out Rescue Rabbit. It can search out quite a few of the cards of the Wind Up Insector and Agent series, and it can search out your Effect Veilers and Max C's and that as well. So a lot of people have been calling for that to get banned. It is possible because it's too good in this, you know, with tour guide and tour bus and everything. Um, but people are saying it could possibly be sw switched out for Witch of the Black Forest, which is also getting a reprint in the Epic Dawn Battle series. I highly doubt Witch of the Black Forest will come back, just because it's it's far too versatile. I mean, yes, it's a level four, so tour guide and tour bus can't use it. But it means you've got more access to like monarchs, to machinas, to scraps. Um, what what else has got good defense? you again. It can go up with the wind ups and the insectors and the agents. Uh, it can search out reborn Tengu. Um, it can still search out rescue rabbit, tour guide, and tour bus. So it's like you're breaking one loop, but you're cause you're opening the opening the net wider to a lot of other problems. So. I highly doubt it is going to come back. I'd be very, very surprised if it does, because, like I said, you can get your monarchs and that and all that. So we'd probably be seeing that, really. But I highly doubt it. But as I said, it's Konami. We don't know what's going to happen. Brionic Dragon of the Ice Bear. Some people are calling for that to get banned because it's just too good, too easy to synchro into. And its bounce ability is a pain in the neck, especially with, um, I believe it's in sectors and wind-ups mainly, because they rely on having stuff in the graveyard in order to do their combos and that quite a bit. So it's possible because, I mean, it's a pity that it's getting a reprint in the Steel, in the Hidden Arsenal 5 um, Special Edition if it does get banned. It means I can own one if I get decide to get it, but I wouldn't use it because it's not a dragon, unfortunately. Gunganeer! Definitely a dragon. I might use that. Don't know yet. Legendary Six Samurai Shien. Definitely stay at one. TG Hyper Librarian Trishula will definitely stay at one. I mean, they're not broken. They're good, but they're not broken. Formula Synchron, again, stay at one. Uh, Book of Moon. I would like to see Semied because um, it's quite a versatile little card and it's really good at. Um, flipping, you know, it flips down your monstrous effects, so I think it could possibly stop some of the wind ups and some of the insector and agent um, effects in that if Maxis or the effect veilers do get hit. But that's highly, that it's probable, but we, I'm not too sure about that. Dark Hole, possibly a yo yo card. But, um, however, there's been people saying it's not really so good in the format because you don't get a chance to use it sometimes. I don't think that's true. It's still pretty good if you top deck it or play it at the right moment. And it's, if you do happen to use it against like the big top decks I've been talking about, it resets the field quite easily and it can actually save you um, if you're careful with it. It's just, it, that's, that's the mark of any good duelist. It's just knowing when to play the card right. Heavy Storm could possibly be a yo-yo card, but um, I highly doubt it because even though people were panicking when it first came off the ban list, a lot of decks still play a big back row and they're not really too bothered by Heavy Storm. 
Uh, I think they fear mystical space typhoon more than anything in honest truth. But again, you know, you, d you don't know. I mean, I, I, would, I would like to see it still limited, but if it does get banned, then oh well. Monster Born, again possibly a yo-yo card. I was very surprised it was allowed to stay on, but now with the these more powerful monsters out in the out in the game now, it's highly possible it could get banned because you steal an opponent's monster that's got a really powerful effect and you your opponent's screwed basically. Uh Mirror Force stay limited, definitely. So judgment's definitely gonna stay limited. Um, Torrential Tribute and Wall of Revealing Light. Uh, this is interesting because um, I was I was thinking, you know, if Dark Hole or Heavy Storm and that does get take it put back on the ban the the ban section, they would need to give us something something from Limited that semied instead in order to readdress the balance. And I'm thinking possibly Torrential Tribute mainly because it's like a Dark Hole, just a trap version. Um, so don't know yet. We we'll have to wait and see. Trap Dust You, I've definitely been seeing that in some plays and that's definitely going to stay at 1. And here we go on to Semi-Aid. Archlord Christia, definitely going to go to 1. Definitely. It's just too easy to summon, especially if you've got like the Venus and Mystic Shine Ball combination. Locks down your special summons far too easily and it recycles a Fairy as well when it's destroyed or something. Uh, yeah. Too good. Too broken. Limited. Might be banned. Don't know. Uh, what else? Swords of Revealing Light might come off the ban list altogether because I haven't really seen much play of it. Bottomless Trap Hole I think will stay two at two because one would be be a bit more trickier to play, and two is like two is pretty good for most decks. I mean, as I get again, I don't run these kind of cards, but I think two is perfect in honest truth. Three was a bit too overkill. Call of the Haunted could stay semi or go limited. Very surprised if it comes off the ban list. Because in some cases, using reusing your own monster's effects over and over again is more dangerous than resurrecting your opponents. Magic Cylinder could stay semi or possibly come off the ban list. I have seen it played, but only in quantities of one, because, if you ha because obviously there's MSTs and Heavy Storm in that round. Solemn Warning, again, I think will stay at 2. If it goes down to 1, then it'll just be like a Solemn Judgment. You just have to be careful of how you play it. But I think two's okay, even though it's my most hated card in the game. And off the ban list now, Judgment Dragon could possibly stay at 3 or go down to 2, because, yes, it's still pretty good, but according to some people, Light Swarms aren't as good as they used to be. Spirit Reaper, I think, will stay at... Uh, possibly... St possibly go semi again, I don't know. Mystical Space Typhoon. Um, if they do ban Heavy Storm, then they'll have to give us three. If they decide to tackle Mystical Space Typhoon instead, it could possibly go down to two, um, because I think Mystical Space Typhoon is a bit more dangerous to play. Well, it's not dangerous, it's more um, more versatile to play than Heavy Storm, really, because with Heavy Storm you can run into trouble, like Starlight Road and stuff like that. With Mystical Space Typhoon, it's not too much of a cost, really. Gravity Bind and Icarus Attack. I don't think they'll be touched in honest truth. I haven't seen very much play in them. Icarus Attack uh, is good for the Black Wings, but I've only ever seen it mainly played in quantities of two because you don't want to destroy too many of your monsters if you have good field advantage. Uh, so yeah, um, that is pretty much everything for the ban list. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As I said, this is just thoughts and opinions on what might happen. I'll do a, a video on when the official list comes out. Well, that's probably not going to be for another few weeks. So till then, guys, take care, and we'll see you later. Bye!